Hey guys, it's Milana, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial. I'm going to be doing the water marble trick. What you're going to be needing for this is a cup, a toothpick, nail polish of your choice, one or more, and water. So first, fill your cup with water, warm temperature. Okay, so go ahead and take your nail polishes and start dripping them into water into patterns. What I mean by that is take your nail polish and start making dots and then do it in the middle and do the next dot into that dot. Sometimes it doesn't spread perfectly but that's okay. And just keep doing the process until you get to your desired finish. Once you've done all your dots, start making a pattern with the toothpick. What I mean by that is just make a bunch of lines and it will make a pattern for you. Mine did something really cool that I have actually never seen before yet. It went half blue and half red. I thought it was really cool. And protect your finger with some sort of tape and then put it in the water and you should get a great design out of it. I already have some paint on my um, thumb but it's okay because it's the same color and the design will go over it. Hey guys, it's Milana and today I'm going to be doing the water model but check. So let's just get into it. So the things you will need is a cup with um, um, water, um, warm temperature, and make sure that you're okay with it being ruined. So I would suggest a plastic cup. Next you will need a toothpick and you'll find out why later into the video. Next thing you'll need is nail polishes. You'll need at least two. Uh, as many though as more as your preference just however you want it so take a cup of water and take your two nail polishes and start dripping dots they will spread and then put one into the middle of each one if it doesn't work that means your nail polish is not I guess fit for this so you'll need to get another type of nail polish it's not your fault, trust me, it's just the way the nail polish is made and what's in it. So my dots were looking like this. Most of the time I do more, but I thought that this time this was enough. So then this is where your toothpick comes in handy. You're going to push inwards and make your design. Also, before I show you my finished product for my first one, this is what my second one's dots look like before I did the design. Back to my first one. Yeah, I know. They pretty much look identical because I added some more to my first one. So start doing your design. Push inwards from the outside. So I stopped making my design once I got here. So the next thing you can do is take the finger that take the finger that you're gonna put in and put tape around it, any type, gymnastics, step tape, scotch tape, just to protect it so you don't have to clean it up later. You can't see my tape because it's scotch tape and it's clear, but I do have some on, so go ahead and put it in. Then remove all the excess with the toothpick, just to make cleanup a little bit easier. So this is my finished look. It's kind of looks messy because I took off the tape, but I haven't done any cleanup yet. Sorry about the lighting, guys. You probably can't see too um. um it's sort of for Ju uh, July 4th because um, it was kind of bad but good because some of my spots said white. Um... But, that's a bad thing, but since there's white in the July board, it's good, I guess. Um, I think that when I'm doing this, one of the best companies to use for this is China Glaze, because it's very, like, drippy, I guess. But any new nail polish is great, because it's, like, a... I don't even know how to say it. It's, like, not expired, almost. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like. Like, you can't even tell I'm doing a like. And subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!